JJ still here? I thought for sure it was 24 to nothing. Him and Greg had gone to the house. I would have left if I could have. We'll cut that part out. Really? Jeff, uh, you guys come come from behind today. Biggest comeback in school history. How did, how did you guys do that in the second half? Um, well, we got behind, obviously. We were just getting physically whipped up front on the O-line and D-line. Weren't fitting correctly in our backers and safeties. And, it, we, and, and UTEP had a great game plan, and they executed very well. And, uh, you know, the smoke and go was big for Cephas, you know kind of hid some really bad offensive play by getting seven. And then Dadrian made an unbelievable play in the, in the block by Trey Moore on the quarterback down the sideline to get to 14. And when you get totally outplayed that bad at halftime, you're only down 10, uh, you feel like you're in a good spot, right? And uh, then we come out and get them free and out right off the jump. And, um, you know, we I thought, you know, we got – pushed in our helmet, which made us change his directory and ran into the punter. The officials did not agree with my opinion. That was a killer. Then they got, they went back ahead of us and we answered. And, uh, you know, it was just a really good football game by two teams that, you know, we're, 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 we're limping home, you know. Losing Brendan Brady was a huge loss for us. And uh, losing Gavin to such another devastating injury you know it's, I, I've done this for 33 years and I've seen maybe three of those in my life and two of them you know were this year for us personally I've seen that I've seen it happen to other people Jeff what had to happen to get the offense going the way it did in the second half to make this comeback possible I don't I really don't get on with my guys very much I don't but I was mad at that time we, we got our tails frequently whipped. And I got after it, and they they knew that I was right. And it's a player's game, and they went out there and the ones that got it done. And we're no team in college football is talented enough to not play your best. But we, we just have to be on our game. You know, we just have to be. We we cannot. And that's one thing I will say about my kids. You know, our kids. It's 12 straight games, man, where they freaking give it up now. Their competitive spirit is like no one's. And uh, I already knew when it was 24 nothing. I'm like, freaking Greg and JJ are going to be asking me, you know, why is Frank still out there and why and I pulled the kids yet. And I was going to tell them, we're going to come back and win the game. And by God, we did. Coach, you guys – Finish eight and zero for the in a conference for the first time in program history. What does that accomplishment mean to you and the guys? I think the way we've done it makes it more special. Overcoming so much adversity, so many lead changes, so many times we've been behind. Grit, mental toughness. You know, the quarterback that you know got gimped up out there. Refused to let me take him out of the game. And uh, these kids are special, man. And uh, it's emotional. And those senior days are tough. And I try to warn them. It's my 18th senior day. And I bet we've been behind and darn near half of them because we're all cry so dang much in pregame. You know, it's tough seeing them moms and dads. And we pour into those kids now. We, we, we love those kids. I know every coach says that, man. It hurts me to see them go. I mean, me and Adrian Taylor, Maka, and little bad Corey Mayfield. I mean, we've been through a lot together. Kevin Davis. I'm going to miss those guys, man. That's It's emotional, and we, we weren't really, really plugged in to play. So we got to get that fixed when North Texas will embarrass us Friday night. Jeff, your defense gave up some yards and points early on, but the last four UTEP drives were punt, punt, interception, and punt. What does it say about that unit to be able to answer the call there at the end? Uh, they they did what Coach Lepp asked them to do and what the head coach asked them to do, which is freaking, let's, let's, let's be physical, man. Let's, it's hypocritical to say you're trying with toughness and you don't play tough. And we don't want to be fake. We, we want to be real at all times. It doesn't mean you're always going to win. It's hard to win in college football. It's hard. But there's a certain way the game is supposed to be played. 
and uh, we, we represented that in the second half. We were fortunate, to be honest with you, in the first half. Fortunate. Jeff, what does it do for the group heading into the Conference USA Championship game to have a game like this that you're coming off of in you know, six days ahead of time? I guess that be, remains to be seen, right? I would, I'm really nervous, you know, about certain spots on our team right now just because of injuries. And so I, there's some things I'm upset about the way we played, but do you risk injury during practice during the week? That's, that's my major concern right now is just me thinking, how do I get this team ready when I thought we did not win up front today? And that's something that has to be addressed. And we got to figure that out. And that's what we're going to do this week somehow. Jeff, I know it just happened, but can you can you give us an update, any on uh, Gavin and Bren Brendan? Neither one of them looked very good at all, so we'll find out more. I would say Gavin's is for sure, you know, really bad. And Brendan's was probably 50-50 really bad. Jeff, you have had eight false start penalties. How much of a factor was the crowd in this one? I would have left if I was the crowd, 24 to zero, and they're the reasons we came back and won the game. And these people, our team's a lot like our city. <laughs> We just stubborn and tough in San Antonio, right? And our crowd's just stubborn and tough. Now, I did have some fans that honestly admitted they almost left. And uh, they said Cephas made that catch, and it kind of got them interested. And then Day Day made that play, and they decided to stick around a little longer. I said, well, that'd be a shame you missed the greatest comeback in the history of UTSA. But then I told them the truth. I would have left, too, if I could have. Any more questions for Chris Jeff, knowing it's going to be North Texas next week, what's your first reaction to having a rematch on the docket now? That's the first I've heard. I didn't know. I appreciate you letting me know. I didn't know it was North Texas. How bad they beat Rice? Just barely. They had to come back to beat them. There you go. I didn't know. Thank you for letting me know, Greg. I'll be in there early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I'll be, uh, I'll be trying to prepare for those suckers. Congrats to them. They're a great team. Our crowd's got to be here. How many have, How many we have here? 26. we, we got to get to 45 if, if we got a chance. We, we, if we don't hit 45, we're in trouble Friday. We are out of people, right? We need the city to show up. We, we got, it's got to be like tonight times two for us to have a, a competitive chance. And we worked hard to get that home field. We can't waste it, man. We cannot waste it. So we, we need to get this place packed. We, we should be shooting for the record. I mean, come on. It's the second consecutive championship at home. This is hard to do, man. What we got to do, but we got to get 50,000 people in here. If I got to go around the town, whatever it takes, we got to get them here. That's important, man. We got to get this one done Friday. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Jeff. Jeff.